As we've been telling you, today marks the first day of hurricane season, and this year some new technology will be sailing into storms in hopes of better understanding them and where they could be headed. As meteorologist Candace Campos explains, it all has to do with a critical layer just above the ocean surface. Where the storm meets the ocean is called the boundary layer, one of the most important areas in shaping a hurricane. The energy source for hurricanes, the heat energy from the ocean is transferred into the atmosphere in that boundary layer and that fuels hurricane intensification. But it's also the zone least understood due to its danger to human life. There are large waves crashing, uh, strong winds, uh, lots of sea sprays. Now that's changing thanks to these sail drones. We outfit them with a, a very advanced set of sensors. These uncrewed sailboats powered by wind and solar energy are exploring areas never seen before. The data goes in real time into forecast centers. From there, it can improve the initial conditions and hopefully improve the prediction of hurricane intensity in these models. Along with that data, videos like this are sent in real time, showing those extreme conditions. We'll get instructions from NOAA about how to move the vehicles, where to move the vehicles to, to try to best position them to be more or less in the path of those storms. That partnership between NOAA and Sail Drone is already getting results, intercepting two major hurricanes, Sam in 2021 and Fiona last year. Um, being able to see what's happening and then uh, analyze the data and actually actually figure out how the ocean and hurricanes interact. And that was meteorologist Candace Campos reporting. And new this season, they're actually upping the number of sail drones from 7 to 12. They'll be staged in the Atlantic, Gulf, and Caribbean, and one on standby in St. Pete to rapidly deploy ahead of a landfalling storm.